Hello. Um, so we've talked about function, what the definition is, and we've talked a little bit about how to use function notation. Um, we talked about how to use function notation with a graph. But I also said you could have a function that's defined as a table. You could have a function that's defined as an equation. So this section of the video will be about how you use function notation in a table. So this table shows you the temperature in Celsius and what the ice cream sales at a certain shop are for each of those temperatures. Um, in Celsius, 25 degrees is about room temperature, I think. So, um, and um, 35 degrees is close to body temperature. So 43 is quite hot. Um, so anyway, um, if I want to, sorry, eh, if I want to um, use function notation in a table, um, then I, let's say this table is called G, um, this function is called G. Remember, functions can have any letter associated with them. This is saying the input is 35. So what's the output of the G function? So if the input is 35, the output is 5,000. Um, in this particular example, whatever temperature it is, you're going to have the same number of ice cream sales, or at least in this table, that looks to like it follows the case. So on the day that it was 35 degrees, the ice cream sales were 5,000. And remember, the way we read this would be G of 35 equals 5,000.